Good morning, it is a day, it's Tuesday, and this is what we're having for breakfast. So there's one piece of toast under all this, which is half a healthy extra bit, um, bay, B. It should have marmite on it. Uh, have I got yours? Uh oh, Kev's got I've the got marmite. Swap, swap, So I already eaten that. Okay, there's just under one piece of bread there. <laughs> Again. With marmite on, because I do like marmite with ham and egg, which is what's on top. And then Kath said, oh, can you get some asparagus whilst you're out? So I got some speed. It's not asparagus. They didn't have any. It's mushrooms. But that's the speed and that's breakfast. And we've I've even done some for Abby's pet rats, although obviously they won't have all that egg. But there you go, Abby. I've done their breakfast. So we're about to go out. And uh, Kath and I are going to share this banana because it is the last banana, so... I guess we'll be going to the shop to buy food as well. We are going down Telegraph Hill. We are. Um, this is on the way to Axtar. Yes. Laura is going back to work tomorrow, so it's our last day um, to, you know, have a day out or a couple of hours out, I know. So um, we haven't been to Axtar Tip for so long. a long time. Yeah. And Laura would like to go, so we're going to go to Exeter Tip and see what the. What are you laughing at? Laura would like to go. Laura would like to. Well, I'd like to I go wouldn't. as well. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I'd like to go as well, but um, it was something that you wanted to do. I really it? did, yeah, so. like at some point before. Fuck it out. Uh, well, oh. just you concentrate on driving. I haven't looked at the camera yet because it's and, busy, um, yeah. No, you, you can't concentrate. Um, so we're going to go to Exeter Tip, have a look around that and then because we're in the area we decided we would probably head on to Habitry which is just outside um, the city centre and go and have a look at some charity shops there although on the whole they tend to be expensive but again we haven't been for so long that we thought we'd uh, we might as well yeah whilst we're there so um, let's see if we can pick up some bars That's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's like Italian looking. Very Italian. Well, it's got penne and tortellini and things like that design on it. And then, so that's obviously the serving bowl for pasta or salad. And then, I'm guessing for pasta really. And then it comes with four pasta dishes, pasta bowls. That's nice. Which I think is really nice. I really like that. I'm going to yeah. have them, okay, I'm I can gonna tell. I'm going to have them, yeah. Well, I'm going to go back to the books. Okay. Which are right behind me. Yay. Okay, well, that was fun, I thought. Yeah, you're glad you came now, um, you? It's... They've changed it around a lot. I think they've probably upped their prices quite a bit. Well, did you pay £15 for all of that, did you? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff there. Yeah, you were, I saw you were going for quite a lot of toys and things. Yeah, I like them. I like toys. Um, I've got me, me bowls and me plates, so I'm happy. Yeah. Um, I thought they were quite nice. I don't know who the designer is or anything, but it doesn't matter because I'm keeping them for myself. Um, I don't actually know where we're going to put them yet. I was going to say, where are they going? Don't know. <laughs> um, so we are now off to have a try. Yeah, it's not even midday yet. We're doing It's that. not. I could do with a drink or yeah, something. Then, you know, a comfort stop. Something and something. 
as they say on the coach journeys. Um, that's it for now. I have the first one here which is the Devon Air Ambulance in the Heavy Tree. Not a lot in the window. Our reflections. exciting life. She was very happy about this. Mm. A shower curtain. A shower curtain. Ooh. Yeah. Happy Catherine. Oh, sorry? That's a happy Catherine right there. So that was the heavy tree. Really lovely. I'd go there again, definitely. Um, really good size as well. And we are now going into Force, which is the biggest charity shop. It's got lots of like side rooms, different rooms. Uh, I quite enjoy being in here. I don't always buy a lot, but I just like to have a little nosy. Yeah, they just have loads of like vintagey stuff. Yeah. Bagged all their cars and jewellery. Don't know much about jewellery, but things and shiny things. Fishing reels, if you're into fishing reels. This is the toy area, which I'm going to have a good rummage through in a moment. And then out of the door, lots of other areas. This is why I love it. You never know what's around the corner. to be my favourite part. Wonderful. I am feeling rather ouchy. You are. shops there than there had been. Yeah. I think it was like two, maybe one or two. Um, but the charity shops are within about probably 200 metres of each other, do you reckon? We're close together. It's really, they're really close together, but I'm really hard in now. Yeah, I know. Anyway. Um, but it was nice. And it hot. was very nice. It's, very hot, it's now 22 degrees and we've got our windows up so that you can hear <laughs> us. So I probably won't talk for too long. Um, on our way home, but we we were coming up against a queue. Um, but we were out and about and... Um, I don't know what you're going to say. Yeah, we were, well you'd mentioned that. Yeah. We were out and about and we'd hit, and we were on, actually we were on this dual carriageway. And... Um, I think there might have been roadworks, 
and queues were forming and we were behind this car and this car suddenly decided he was turning off. So I said to Lauren, was it me or was it your idea? And I said, follow him, he knows where he's going. Was I driving? I don't know. Can't remember. It's been a long time since yeah. I've driven. Anyway, um, somebody said, follow him, he knew, he must know a shortcut. So we peeled off after him and we were going down all these roads we'd never come across before. They were all like narrow lanes was and things like us. that. There were several others. There must have been. Yeah. There must have been a convoy of seven or eight cars. <clears throat> that was being the second ones anyway. So it, we must have driven probably six miles like this, and then we turned into a housing estate. And I thought to myself, mm, not sure about this. Anyway, the chap that we'd been following had actually driven home. <laughs> and <laughs> seven or eight other cars drove to his house too, which was... Uh, Thinking it was a shortcut. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah. It was his house. Oops. So he probably had a good laugh at, at us all. And then we had to try, try and find a way out. Anyway, we are on our way home. It's boiling, so I will catch up with you later and open the windows. Yes, please. Okay, so here's dinner in our newly brought, newly washed bowls. Yes. Yes. Uh, we're having chorizo, spaghetti, homemade, and four sins per portion. There's, and uh, there's a leaf on top. Thank you. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little bit of parmigiano. Okay. From a height. All right. Because okay. that's how Jamie Oliver does it. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> Go. Thanks. <laughs> and that'll be part of our healthy extra A. And that's dinner for tonight. And I'm going to probably leave it there because my battery is going to die on my phone. Um, I have bought more bananas. Hooray! Watermelon and satsumas. So it might be a bit of a fruity supper tonight. Oh, fruity. Fruity. Many thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Say bye, Kath. Bye, Kath. <laughs>